Hey, I'm Dylan Western Bike Works, and we're here at Outdoor Demo Interbike 2015. Good stuff here. This is back country. Viva! Looking at perhaps one of the most anticipated releases of the past few years, electronic shifting has been available for a while in terms of Shimano's Di2 and Campagnolo's EPS. But what we're looking at now is SRAM's offering in the electronic shifting market, which represents a dramatic departure in that it's not only electronic, but it is completely wireless. This is SRAM's E-TAP system. has been in the prototype stages for quite some time. They've had it under the riders on their professional teams for a while, and now we're seeing it about to come out on the market. It's going to be OE spec on 2016 bicycles and it will ship as a separate group of in 2016 as well. So this is something that you can have on your bike in the coming year. The ETAP system uses their proprietary wireless protocol. So it's not Wi-Fi, it's not AMP Plus, it's not Bluetooth. It's their area wireless protocol and it uses that to pair the separate parts of the system. And the rear derailleur is kind of the control center of this entire system. So we have this little function button here and by virtue of holding it down for you know about 10 seconds or so we can begin to pair the system we'll get a little flashing light and then once that starts flashing we can pair the other parts of the system with these little function buttons now the cool part about this is that there are separate batteries in the shift brake levers it uses a conventional 2032 little coin cell battery that has a use life of probably about two years and then the front derailleur and the rear derailleur use these interchangeable little battery packs and these battery packs probably are good on a full charge for about 60 hours and the cool thing about these little battery packs is they come off completely they have their own separate charger so you don't have to wheel your bike up to where your charger is like you do with some of the other electronic systems also means that you could potentially carry spare batteries if you're going out for a long time you think you won't be near a charger and the shifting system in terms of the ergonomics is it's totally different from anything else out there and it mimics what you would see on say an F1 car so if you want to shift into a harder gear on the rear cog you press this trigger if you want to shift into a easier gear you press the left shift button and in order to toggle between the chain rings either between its chain rings you shift both paddles at the same time so it probably takes a little bit of getting used to if you're used to other systems but it turns out to be very intuitive up shifts one button here down shifts and then shifting between chain rings just like that we're really excited about the SRAM ETAP system only available at their top level red grupo but we can obviously expect to see this technology trickle down to force and their other groups as the years go by thank you to SRAM for running us through the ETAP system and keep an eye out for the rest of our coverage